Hey, Tubies! <laughs> it's Psychic Bob. Well, I tell you, I'm in such a good mood today. You know why? Because it is Chinese New Year. That's right, today, January 27, 2017. And guess what? This year is the year of the rooster. We're going to talk all about that in just a minute. But before we get in that, I want to say thank you. First of all, thank you to all of you who came out to yesterday's video. We had Zodiac Thursday. It was a lot of fun. If you've been watching my channel, you also know that I posted a video early this morning, which is a new series that I'm starting. It's Psychic Bob's Daily Horoscopes. That's right. I am now doing daily horoscopes. You can follow it here at YouTube, or you can follow it over at my website, where it's going to be in the horoscope section. Either way, uh, if you want to go to my website and see it, it's posted there under the horoscopes tab at the top. My website's robert hickman Dot com. I'll put the link below. Well, you guys are wonderful. I'm so glad you're here. Well, you know, I tell you, it's a lot going on astrological. Yesterday, Zodiac Thursday, and today is Chinese New Year, the year of the rooster. That's right. Now, you know, the Chinese calendar follows a little different pattern. You know, in the Western culture, we have New Year's on January 1st, but the Chinese calendar is a little different. So, it starts a different time each year, depending on the lunar cycle. And so it'll either be in January or February. This year, the new year starts on January 27th, which is today. And this year, the Chinese calendar of the year of the rooster goes from January 27th to February 15th, 2018. So welcome to the year of the rooster. Now, what's really fascinating is that in the Chinese zodiac, uh, they also have elements that they attach to the years. This year happens to be a fire year. And the elements of the Chinese zodiac are earth, metal, water, fire, uh, and wood. And 2017 happens to be a fire year. Interestingly, the, 20, the, the, the Chinese zodiac rotates every 12 years. They have 12 zodiac signs, and they rotate through all 12 um, signs. So every 12 years, comes up the year of the rooster. So, so, interesting, I was looking over some calendars here and some other significant dates around the year of the rooster. For example, 1945 was the year of the rooster. And it always seems that the year of the rooster has major events. Like, so for example, 1945, we celebrated Victory in Europe Day. That was the end of World War II. Another year of the rooster, 1969. Now, that was a happening year. We had Woodstock that year, and we saw that the moon landing. Another rooster year. Another one, 1981. 1981, we had the wedding of Prince Charles uh, to Lady Diana Spencer. Big worldwide event. We also had Sandra Day O'Connor come to the U.S. Supreme Court. First woman in history uh, on the Supreme Court. So... Now, our last, most recent year of the rooster was back in 2005, and it ran from February 9, 2005 to January 28, 2006. That was our last year of the rooster. Here we are, 2017, and we're back here now for another year of the rooster. You know, the rooster is a wonderful sign. Roosters are people who take charge. Uh, if you fall under the sign of the rooster, you're somebody who's a natural leader. You're, you've got a lot of fire energy. I always like to compare the rooster when we talk about the Western Zodiac. It's kind of the equivalent energetically, I would say, of Leo. You know, Leos are larger than life. They have that fire energy. A lot of celebrities are Leo. Interesting, a lot of celebrities are also roosters in the Chinese zodiac. Very fascinating parallel. And if you're looking at this year and you're trying to plan, you know, how you want to get through this year, Chinese astrology may give us a little bit of insight. For example, if you're an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, you are a fire sign. This is a fire year. This means that this year you can expect a little bit of ease in your life. You're going to have a little more influence, a little more power. It is your year to shine. 
and it's a wonderful year for you. Now, also, also stimulated by that fire energy this year are our air signs. In the Western Zodiac, that means Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. If you're any of those signs, the year of the rooster is also your year because fire and air stimulate in each other. This is a year of excitement. This is a year of glamour. Wonderful year for relationships, energy, and getting projects launched. All right, we either have some other signs. They're going to have a little bit of challenge here, but don't panic, okay? We're going to talk about them. Now, our challenging signs are our earth signs and our water signs. Under our earth signs, we've got Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Wonderful earth energy, but sometimes earth and fire clash a little bit. If you're a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, this year you may find that it takes a little extra motivation to get going. You may feel a little sluggish. So don't try to overwhelm yourself or just give up. It may be a year of some challenges, but this is why I always say, you know, and I've always said, if we look to the stars, we can pull power from other places. So this year, pay attention to the other planetary transits that are in your favor, and that will give you extra power to maximize your power. As I said, when we have a year where there's some challenging aspects, doesn't mean give up, okay? So if you're a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn, you may feel like things are a little slow. What you want to do is just keep plodding through. Sometimes, you know, we win simply through sheer determination. And if you put your focus as an earth sign this year, you can overcome that fire obstacle and still be successful, okay? Now, our other signs, probably the ones that are going to have the most challenging time this year, are our water signs, which are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Now, they're water signs, and water and fire clash. Uh, they're kind of enemies. And if you're a Cancer, um, a Scorpio, or a Pisces, this year you want to practice diplomacy. That is your key word, diplomacy and tolerance. This year you may find, if you're these signs, that people are going to challenge everything you say, everything you do. Okay, if you're in that position this year, don't panic. Know that you can reapproach matters. Centeredness and calm, and as I can't stress enough, diplomacy are the keys for you to have success in the year of the rooster. So anyways, guys, there's a little bit of insight about the year of the rooster. I want to say to all of you a happy, happy Chinese New Year. To all my viewers in China, Taiwan, and throughout Asia, I send you my best greetings for a truly blessed and wonderful New Year celebration. Thanks for being here at Spirit Channel, guys. You know, if you are excited about the new year and want to celebrate with me, share this video. Like it, favorite it, share it with your friends. Let's spread the joy. Let's spread the knowledge. And let's get all hyped up to celebrate the year of the rooster. I tell you, I'm an air side, so I'm definitely feeling that energy today. I hope you are, too, wherever you are. Anyways, if you like this video and wanted some more of it, make sure to hit that subscribe button and be part of our channel. If you're watching through our Blogspot site or through our eBlogger, through my website, there's a subscribe button also to be part of my blog so you can get updates if that's how you watch it. So hit subscribe wherever you are. Be part of my scene. You guys are the best. I love you. Keep it here. We got more coming. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Blessed be.